this is the Grand Budapest Hotel and it's obviously about a hotel and the only other thing I know is that I was sent this, I opened it in my live and all you guys said that it was such a good movie and I believe it's an oldie because it looks like it on the cover of the DVD case so that's what I'm going with today and not much else. I have never been to Budapest before, it's meant to be beautiful so let me know have you have, you, have if, if if you have been let me know if you have been and subscribe like check out patreon all that stuff that helps channel helps me and you know you know what you have to do and i think we'll just watch the movie i feel like we just need to get started so that's what we'll do it is called the grand budapest hotel and play <clears throat> hey, I, d I don't think this is an old movie I think I could request that when I die. I just, I just want my head on top of my headstone. <laughs> Stories will continue to stop it. Stop it. Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> I know that feeling. Well, describe to me exactly as I present them here and in a wholly unexpected way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Monty Python. And it had already begun its descent into shabbiness and eventual demolition. Uh, how the heck are they, how are they getting up to that? Is that a little train? Monsieur Jean, both lazy and really quite accommodating. I expect he was not well paid. Uh, it stinks when you do that. That's Mr. Mustafa himself. This name will no doubt be familiar to the more seasoned persons among you. Mustafa, I'm not seasoned. He takes only a single bed sleeping room without a bath in the rear corner of the top floor. He occupied a servant's quarters? It's quite a cool room though. I like it. Which required <laughs> the immediate and complete attention of Monsieur Jean. <laughs> oh, look at the doggy. I admire your work. What the hell is going on? <laughs> How did you come to buy it, if I may ask? The Grand Budapest. Yeah, I want to know that too. Tell me all your secrets. I didn't. Oh, what the hell? What is going on? I don't... I don't understand. If it genuinely does interest you, may I invite you to dine with me tonight? Yes. And it will be my pleasure, and indeed, my privilege to tell you my story. Lovely. Can't wait. It begins, of course, with... Part one. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, for goodness sake. Th there's no reason for you to leave us if you'd rather... Come with me. I think I know who he is, but I'm scared to say in case it's not him. Oh, dear God, what have you done to your fingernails? I beg your pardon. This diabolical varnish, the colour is complete. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. I am physically repulsed. <laughs> I'm always with you. I love you. I love you. Mom, please say mom or granny and not partner. Um, yes, sir. She's very fond of me, you know. Uh. I've never seen her like that before. She was shaking like a shitting dog. <laughs> Hotel Kinski, kitchen boy, six months, until Berlitz, mop and broom boy, three months. Carpet Experience in the zero. Experience zero. <laughs> Family? None. Zero. None. Oh. Oh. It's very colorful. Were you ever a lobby boy, sir? Well, I suppose you'd have to start somewhere. I mean, you could have... Go out the goddamn can. Yes, sir. <laughs> I bet he was. A lobby boy anticipates the client's needs before the needs are needed. Oh, that's some special skills. So keep your mouth shut, Zero. Yes, sir. Is he Voldemort? Is he Voldemort? I th if he's not, I'm really sorry, but I think he is. <laughs> At first I thought it was Liam Neeson, but I, that's not true. They had to be rich, old, insecure, insecure, vain, oh. superficial, <laughs> blonde, needy. Uh, God. Our meals were small but frequent for stamina. To breakfast. Oh, it's not even real. Rudeness is merely the expression of fear. People fear they won't get what they want. Oh, I totally agree with that. His own dinner, he took alone in his room. Oh, that's sad. 
That's really sad. Oh, part two. That was short. I love that sound. That's the best sound. Crunching snow. Yeah, what is this thing? That can't be real. Dear God, we must go to her. We must? Too sweet. She needs me. You might get a, a lot of money from her. I blame myself. She tried to tell me she had a premonition. I didn't listen. Did he have, like, sexual relations with her? I can't even bring myself to see it. With any luck, she's left a few clubecks for your old friend. She was dynamite in the sack, by the way. Ah! She was 84. I mean, she could stop. Mm, I've had older. <laughs> I've had older. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yuck. Oh. Well, hello there, chaps. <laughs> chaps. That's a migratory visa with stage three worker status, Franz Darling. He's with me. Darling. Franz Darling. Take your hands off my lobby boy! You both have a bleedy nose at the exact same time. Do you remember me? I know exactly who you are. It's uncanny. Oh, he does. He does. Your little Albert. He does remember. My men and I apologize for disturbing you. I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now wipe your noses. Take me to her. Why are they? <laughs> Why are they running like that? <laughs> this is funny. Honestly, you look better than you have in years. You look like you're alive. <laughs> she did it when she was alive. <laughs> Et aussi, Monsieur Serge, voudrait vous parler en privé dans son bureau, s'il vous plaît. Oh, oh, let's find out. The old woman's most distant relations had come foraging out of the woodwork. I wonder how many of them were her lover. He was the executor of the dead widow's estate. He's Jurassic Park. Contains an amendment to the original certificate. The authenticity of this document has not yet been confirmed. Well then why, why bring it up then if it's not been... Until such time as our investigations can be completed. Well you need, you need to complete them first. You can't say anything until they have, but I know him too. And him. I know all these people. Who comforted me in my later years and brought sunshine into the life of an old woman. Yuck. Yuck. The painting known as Boy with Apple. Wow. Who's Gustav H? Wait, I thought he was going to get everything. I'm afraid that's me, darling. I'm going to start that's calling everyone sorry. darling. Darling. <laughs> You're not getting Boy with Apple, you goddamn little fruit. How's that supposed to make me feel? <laughs> Praise on mentally feeble, sick old ladies. They probably fuck. Too. Oh, yeah, he does. I go to bed with all my friends. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> yeah, who's he? Who's he? I know him too. There's lots of people I recognize. Well, she isn't. His tongue. Can I see it? Well, I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, let's see it. It's going to be a boy holding an apple like this. Very artistically. A way to eat it, like. Is what I'm picturing. It's a masterpiece. The rest of this shit is worthless junk. Okay. Uh, can I see it closer? <laughs> okay, let me see it. I want to see it. I don't, I don't think you're allowed to just take it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Come on, you would buy that. <laughs> well, eh, boy, with a bird. Mm. Can I see it closer? What's the big deal? This is bloody brilliant. <laughs> okay, I wasn't far off then in Lalo, somewhere along the Maltese Riviera until the troubles blow over and we resume our post. All right, sounds good. I pledge to you 1.5% of the net sales price, plus room and board. Okay, I would go for that. You will be my sole heir. These will be yours, <laughs> along with whatever we haven't already spent on whores and whiskey. 
I bet they were old, both the horse and the whiskey. <laughs> the police are here. They asked for you. <laughs> Tell them I'll be right down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's going to be about something else. Oh, it's the same guy. She's been murdered, and you think I did it. How did she die? What happened to her? Actually, ostensibly saw the alleged events, appears to have fled the jurisdiction. Well, there you go then. Who is he? Ooh. Serge. So what did he have to tell you? Don't give up. Aww. Aww. The details of the conspiracy. You two are besties now. A young man in the service of my employer. Have seen him lately? No. Yes, she has. She has. She's lying. Tell him Jopling says, come home. <laughs> what was wrong with her leg? May I offer any of you inmates a plate of mush? Oh, uh oh. No? Anyone? You with a very large scar on your face? <laughs> So, all right, yeah, you like it, okay. Good day. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> mush, gents, any takers? Mush, what kind of mush is it? Rise and shine, chop, chop. Good morning, Pinky. Pinky. Who's got the throat slitter? Oh, I really want one. Back to work, I see the stuff. Be careful with that throat slitter. But it's got what you'd call vulnerability. They're going to escape. What do you mean, who, Judas? I did. The show's great artistic promise. Question, how do <laughs> But we need digging tools. What? What? What do you see? Are you ill, Mr. Mustafa? Oh, dear me, no. It's only that I don't know how to proceed. Why? He was crying. Oh, he's sad. You see, I never speak of Agatha. You see, she saved us. We did not have 50 clubex between the two of us. Oh, oh, oh. And we were deeply in love. What happens to her? I ruined the surprise, I suppose. I I'll go ahead and open it anyway. Okay. Why is he wearing his hat? He's not working. <laughs> is he flirting with you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Agatha, my beauty, return to your beloved. Soon we learn. Blessings upon you both. He doesn't like them that young anyway. So you're fine. She was also very brave. How is he managing to get them into prison anyway? Oh. 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 Wrap it up and don't make waves. Agree. Okay. I'm obligated to proceed according to the rule of law. Not agreed. <gasps> did he just throw my cat out the window? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I don't think so. Did you? I saw it, he did. I thought... <laughs> I thought cats always landed on their feet. <laughs> It's going to take years. I've seen Shawshank. Is that your dad? Go to sleep. Oh, that's your dad. Hide this. No. Okay, but take it anyway. <laughs> okay, but take it anyway. <laughs> 
I love it. I'm deceased. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord this is just what i needed today go on use it ouch ouch that's all his fingers He's leaving his body in there. Why did you take his fingers and not his body? <laughs> Let's blow. How far down are you? Ah, you've done all right, actually. Ah, now you're going sideways. What's wrong with you, you goddamn snitch? God, God, God! I, wait, I think I would snitch as well if I was another prisoner. Come back for me. I would want out that I would just be like, yeah, you're not getting out without me. Where did you get that from? Well, you made it. You made it, did you? And it's exactly the right length that they needed. Steam vent, I would not be going in there. Uh-oh. Oh, well, don't mess with him, guys. I suppose you'd call that a draw. <laughs> Pinky, Wolf, Ludwig, this is the Divine Zero. Gunter was slain in the catacombs. Slain? <laughs> Gunter was slain. <laughs> <laughs> Highly cultivated society that, quite frankly, could have gotten along very well without you. Very mean. I left because of the war. I see. So you're you're actually really more of a refugee in that sense. <laughs> I hope you feel bad now. <laughs> I suppose I better take back everything I just. Aha! Uh -huh. This is disgraceful, and it's beneath the standards of the Grand Budapest. I bloody love him. I love him so much. I'm so sorry, Zero. We're brothers. Brothers. I agree. Brothers fight. How's our darling Agatha? Not our. And hence did I return day by day entranced. The vinegar did brine my heart. Oh, 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 guys, guys, come on, quick, quick. I'll stop you there because the alarm has sounded, but remember where we left off because I insist you finish later. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I'm aware of his disappearance. His body was found stuffed in a sarcophagus behind a storage room in the Kunzmi. <laughs> what do you know about that? Nothing. <laughs> Mandels. Oh, poops. Oh, poops. I'm formally calling upon the special services of... Crossed keys. Right. Okay. Right. Stand by. Ooh. Get me Monsieur Martin at the Ritz Imperial, please. Is this all the concierge just coming together? Are they the cross keys? Take over. Robin? Martin? Too much salt. Well, you can't do anything about too much salt, I'm afraid. Deputy Kovacs also missing. Madam D dead. Boy with apple stolen by us. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the picture gone? What else? Zero, confused. Zero, confused. Dawn, confused, also. We found the butler. He's hiding out in the remote foothills near Gable Meister's Peak. How did you find him? I like Bill Murray. Here's your tickets. Oh, third class. It was over. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the club footed sister again, and this time. Club, f club, fooed sister. Uh, Holy fuck! I just realised. <laughs> Apple, I thought you did. Are you, 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 you now? Are you fucking 
kidding me? Bunch of dumbasses. I believe it was removed by Monsieur Gustave. Hey, a clipe. And that's exactly where that should be. What a horrific picture. Whose head? Whose head was that? Where's the basket? <laughs> Knees up. Oh, who is she again? Oh, I remember, I remember. Girl with a funky leg. Red panache. Oh. Oh. See, that was silly. You should have just stayed stinky. You're leaving a trail everywhere you go. Get on the next cable car. Oh, that would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> Switch with me. Uh -uh. Oh God, I would never. Of the Grand Budapest Hotel in Neville's part. Yes. Mm -hmm. Put these on and sing. Why are you even asking him? Because you could just say yes, even though it wasn't him. There he is. Who'd they kill this time? The girl with the club foot? Yes. Those f -ers. I tried to... <laughs> Oh, she's the one with the cl what's it called? A club foot? What the hell's a club foot? I thought she had a robot foot. A second will. Right, but they destroyed it. I pulled a copy. A second copy of the second will. And that's the document that's missing. Bloody hell, they've strangled the poor slob. Who did? Who is oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> How the hell did he get there? <laughs> That's going too fast for my liking. You guys. Uh, uh huh. Did anyone make it? Last me fears, said he. <laughs> Holy shit, you got him! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you got him! <laughs> oh no! A moment of silence in memoriam no. of devoted servant no. can violently join the conduct no. of his duties. Go now! You okay, guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments of Herr Mendel for the executive staff. She's very brave. General Stieglitz requests a garden. There's bombs in the mall. Put them in the Duke Leopold suite. Secretary Von Yetzky's office cabled. He's That's Owen Wilson. That's very late in the movie for you to make an appearance. That's actually very, very clever. Leave the key where nobody would suspect it. Dimitri. Agatha. She's fine. She'll be fine. Six. Hold it. Six. This is going to be interesting. Pretty picture. Now what do you do? He looks so evil. I like it. Very well done. Oh, you should have went after her a little bit quicker. I'm gonna blast your candy ass once and for all right now. Go on then. Drop your weapon! Someone shoot him then. Is, that, is there anyone actually getting shot? Oh, that's really loud. Who's shooting who? Nobody knows. Nobody move. Everybody's under arrest. Agatha. And what the hell's she doing? Three ten bees. Oh, that's a bit stupid. Oh yeah, I forgot he put that in there. I forgot. Something's on the back of the car. Are you all right? I think so. Something's on the back of the picture. Huh? Yeah, don't don't mind about that. Just eat eat all those things in there. 
How was she murdered, though? Oh, she was poisoned. She was poisoned. This very institution, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Did it belong to her in the first place? He did not succeed, however, in growing old. Why? What happened? Nor did my darling Agatha. She and our infant son would be killed two years later by the Prussian Greep. What? Today, we treat it in a single week. But in those days, many millions died. What, in the 80s? Was this the 80s? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't the 80s. <laughs> I was thinking it was the 80s. <laughs> what year are we in again? <laughs> now what? <gasps> Come outside. I'll stay there. Not again. Oh. He doesn't know how to deal with them. What more is there to say? Interesting. What happened in the end? In the end, they shot him. Who? Who? So it all went to me. Really? That's when he died? Really? That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> And Monsieur Jean had abandoned his post. I expect he's forgotten all about us. Oh, there's the painting. I never realised that's where it was. Exchanged for one costly, unprofitable, doomed hotel. Why? Yeah, I want to know. The hotel I keep for Agatha. Mm. We were happy here. For a little while. Oh, bless. I sailed for a cure in South America. I did not return to Europe for many years. Well, a cure for what? What's wrong with you? But I never managed to see it again. Don't you dare it. Don't you dare and oh. Come on. This is me watching. This is me. I need explanations. God damn it. Okay. Who was the who was the girl at the start and at the end? Was she part of anything or was she just a random person? He <sighs> I can't do best movie ever because I didn't understand half of it. <laughs> I bet you guys told me that in the live as well and I just didn't even remember that. I don't. I can't remember you telling me anything about the movie, just that it was a really good one. And it was, it was really good and it was bloody funny, but I guess I need to watch it again to understand what the hell was going on. <laughs> Uh -huh. But the part when Jude Law, the hell was his name again? Hold on. It just says author. Author? Author of what? <laughs> well, the author of the movie? <laughs> I was so confused. Right, okay, hold on. And it was that was when he was talking to Zero when Zero was an old old man. So that was in the eighties. And then Zero when he was a lobby boy was he must have been like twenty max. Twenty max, yeah. So we're going back like <laughs> let me figure. Let me try and figure this math out. Fifty years maybe. Um, I don't know if it gave a year. Right, and then. Who the hell? Oh, I, I'm, guys, I'm so, so confused. <laughs> Someone just needs to sit and go through this whole movie and explain it point by point. Um, so Zero got the whole everything from um, Mr. Gustav H. What, what was the H? Why, why did they need the H? And when he died, on the train, because he got shot, he gave everything to Zero. Zero's wife, Agatha, uh, yeah, they did get married, and son died of something that's easily treatable now. But then his voice changed at the end, so he was an old man. So the Jude Law, he did have a name at the start. He wasn't just author. What was his name? What was I even saying? I, I need to watch this again. I need to watch it and then again and again. <laughs> Is it just me? Did everyone else manage to figure it out the first time? I don't get it. Let's see who the director is. I want to know if I've seen movies from him before. Or her. It's definitely a him. This is a him movie. When oh, Anderson. Well, that explains it. Anderson's are very clever. <laughs> what movies has he done? Apparently, he directed Sing because <laughs> I've seen Sing. And sing to you. 
I don't. I haven't seen anything else. I don't think. I know. I know why you guys knew I would like it, and it was very. I it's like from the very beginning. I was like, this is so Monty Python, and it was so silly and hilarious at the same time. It was like it's just stupid things that make me laugh, like proper belly laugh. You know when he ran away from the movie? <laughs> when he ran away from the movie, he said, he went, oh, you guys suspect me, and then ran away, and he ran up the stairs when you could see him running <laughs> up the stairs. <laughs> it's so stupid, and it's so little, but <laughs> every time I think about it, it's going to be the... the um, Gobbler's knob all over again. Oh, okay. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Let's try figure this out. Or let's not. Let's just wait until I read some comments and then I'll watch it again while I'm editing it. And maybe that'll give me a little bit of clarification and and I can figure out what what who is how is he the old man at the end? And who is the little boy again? Was that at the start? Yeah, I, no, I'm just gonna have to watch it again. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna be in stitches the whole time. Uh, bloody good movie, bloody hilarious. And I, again, I have to thank you guys for recommending it because otherwise I would not have watched it, especially looking at the DVD cover because it doesn't look like something I would like to watch. Especially because they made it look like an old movie. Not that I don't enjoy old movies, because I do. You guys know I do. I just, um, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm even more confused now than I was at the beginning when I had no idea what I was away to watch and I still have no idea what I just watched. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, if you guys like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning on staying and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also check out Patreon, lots of videos on there already. Patrons get one week early access, full reaction, no edits, and lots of other stuff on there already. So, um, I think that, I, I'm so confused. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Is the Grand Budapest Hotel real? Does it sit on, like, the edge of the cliffs and you have to get that um, diagonal train? Which is the best, <laughs> the best way that I can describe it. That weird looking train thing. You have to get that to go up to it. And if it's not real, what hotel or what, place did they use because they would have needed to use a hotel of some sort for the insides. It must be real. It must be. I bet it is real. And I think I'm just going to have to go before my brain explodes. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ow, my hip just popped.